It only blooms for a short time, but the corpse flower at the Missouri Botanical Garden is still drawing quite the crowd. Steve Harris is finding some people are digging the stinky bloom. Something at the Missouri Botanical Garden stinks, and people are lining up to see it. Over 900 people come by. And smell it. I smell it. It is the corpse flower you've probably heard about. Well, the corpse flower is so popular because of its uniqueness, the size, the smell. This one weighs more than 160 pounds. I can't believe how big it is. It's ginormous. And the smell? I guess the best way to describe it is a dumpster. Um, or dead rodents. So when it came out this morning, they actually told me it's closing up. So I didn't think, well, I'd be able to smell anything, but even with the mask on, it smells like there's a dead animal in here. And it only blooms for a very short time. It will stay open, our opening, from 12 to 36 hours. Which is why folks flocked to the famous flower. I thought it might be gone, because I looked um, before I came said it didn't last very long. I took a vacation day to take this to see this flower. That's dedication. So were they disappointed they'd missed it in all its malodorous glory? A little, but I got down here finally, so I'm all right with it. But it's a little disappointing, but after like two years ago when they, when we didn't have a bloom, so we'll take what we can get, right? So if you want to see the corpse flower in full bloom, take a good long look at this video we shot yesterday, because after this, you're going to have to wait two or three years. No wonder it smells so bad. Steve Harris, News 4.